Hello? Hey man, it's Jen. Can you talk for a minute? Yeah, I guess. What's up? Well, I seen you at school today and you didn't seem like yourself. What's wrong? I was just concerned is all. Well, Jen, I messed up on the weekend. I went to a party at a buddy's place and I slept with this girl. And I didn't use protection. I'm concerned I might have caught something from her. Oh, so that's what's wrong. Well, if you want, we can go to the sexual health clinic to get you tested just to be sure. Yeah, I guess. Is it far? Because I have to be back for dinner. No, it's not too far. There are a few clinics in the region, but we'll go to the one in uh, Pickering because it's the closest. How do you even know about these places? Well, I buy my birth control from there. It's a lot cheaper than buying it from the pharmacy. And why don't you give them a call right now? I'll text you the number, and then you can let me know when your appointment is so I can meet you there. Okay, thanks. I'll text you and let you know what they say. Yeah, I think it's this way. Good afternoon. Do either one of you have an appointment today? Yeah, I do. I called in earlier today. And you said you could book me to see a nurse. My name's Sean. All right. Good job for booking an appointment. Although walk-in appointments are available, wait times can be lengthy depending on how busy we are. So here's a form. If you could fill out your contact information, that would be great. All of our clinics are confidential, so any information that we collect today will be kept private. Sorry, I didn't bring my health card. Can I still be seen? Of course you can still be seen. A health card is not required to receive clinical services. What do I do after I fill out the sheet? When you've completed the form, you can just bring it back to me and then you can have a seat again. There's lots of pamphlets in the clinic for you to read while you wait and a nurse will come out shortly to call you to a private room. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Sean? That's me. Hi, I'm Jackie, one of the nurses. Please follow me. I'll be out here waiting. Good luck. Thanks. So, Sean, I want to let you know that your information is kept confidential. We don't share it with anyone without your permission. The first thing I'm going to do is go over the consent for services form, and then you can tell me why you're here. Then I'll get your medical history and your sexual history, okay? Sure. So depending on the information that you give to me, I'll be able to determine what you need from our services. So whether it be counseling, education, testing, or perhaps a referral for further follow-up. Well, that makes sense. I'm here because I had unprotected sex on the weekend, and I'm worried I might have caught a sexual transmitted infection. Do you guys do testing here? Yes, we do. We test for sexually transmitted infections at all of our clinics. Um, testing usually includes either a urine sample, a blood test, uh, pelvic exam for females or a swab of the infected area. Test results take about one to two weeks to come back. Um, now it's important that if you have negative test results this time that you continue to get tested if you're going to have sex without a condom. So what happens if they come back positive? What do I do next? If the tests come back positive or there's anything unusual on the tests, we'll give you a call from the clinic. Now we're going to use a code name so that if your parents pick up the phone they won't know that you were at the clinic. Privacy and confidentiality is really important to us. At that time, the nurse will ask you to come back to the clinic so that you can get treatment free of charge and further counseling or education, depending if you need that or not. It's good to know my parents wouldn't find out. It's really important to a lot of our clients. Um, it's important that you trust us and that you trust your information with us, that we're not going to share it with your parents or anyone else without your permission. So why don't we uh, talk about your history and then I can determine what testing is appropriate for you. Sure, that'd be great. Well, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. Is that it? Yes, it is. Did you have any more questions for me? Well, what else happens here? Do you guys just do STI testing and cell birth control? Not at all. We also do pregnancy testing. This is done through a urine sample. The test results are given immediately. If it's a positive result, options are discussed with the client so that she can be supported through her decision. There's also vaccinations that we provide to certain populations, such as HPV, hepatitis A, and hepatitis B. Our clinic is staffed by nurses, nurse practitioners, and doctors, and we provide a sex-positive, open atmosphere where everybody is welcome. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. I think you've answered all my questions. All right then, well, if you think of something else that you forgot to ask me, you can always call the clinic or come back to the clinic or you can call the Durham Health Connection Line at 1-800-841-2729 and speak to a public health nurse. Oh, and don't forget to take some condoms. Okay, sweet. Tell your friends too. Definitely.
How'd it go? Not bad. I should get my results back soon. I'm definitely telling my friends about this place. It's a good thing the people are really nice here. Yeah.